There can only be one period of the year that truly fulfills the atmosphere we long for. The period that truly does it for us. Something about the season of summer completes you, even if you're not doing anything, especially if you live in the East Coast where the seasonal changes are very noticeable and it can be annoying when you wake up and you find your car doors frozen shut. It's something about having the constant heat on your skin while anticipating the potential events that can go down during the season. Earlier this summer, I went to go visit my family members in Georgia. Visiting them made me start to think about how I'm way more free to visit them during this time and they would have loved their frequent visits for me. The fact that I don't get to see them as often enables me to be even happier when there are plans to meet up again. Our distance makes the meetups very worthwhile, but part of me wants them to live closer to me, even if the events and meetups would have less significance due from us being able to meet up whenever we would want. I say this because I think that there is much more value in family than in fun and dopamine. So what if our meetups aren't a spontaneous turn of events, and we aren't trying to catch up with each other? The thing that matters is that I'm there with them and they're there with me. Ugh, you got me talking like a softie. The thing that matters is that I'm there with them and they're there with me. But it's true. I'm not gonna deny that it's cliche, but, but there is value in it. Instead of feeling excitement from being with those I barely see, I kinda wanna be sick of them from time to time. You achieve a certain loyalty when you're around each other for so long that even if for some reason you tackled your family member to the ground, you know the next day they will be right next to you in the battle if need be. Before leaving Georgia, we were already devising an event for later this year. And while talking about it, I had the same feeling it felt like when you were opening presents as a child. This time, we were opening possibilities of a new family event. But I quickly understood something in that point in time. I was the only one feeling that way in that moment. Because everyone else that was there already lived close to each other. They can see each other any time of the day and seeing each other for events is something regular for them. Before I left Georgia, me and my cousins wanted to go hang out in the city. And we made plans to go to Topgolf. Again, I was glad that I was with my family and I understood that it was probably more meaningful for me since I was the one who sees them the least. So every moment during that time, I treated it as an important matter. I tried to force in as many jokes as I could to get them to laugh, even if some of them weren't worth it. I paid attention to everything, from when they would hold the gold clubs to swing, to the type of food they ordered when we wanted to eat. I wanted to be as involved with them as possible because I was leaving the next day, and I knew it would take more than half the year to see them again. One of the best things about that moment was that even while some of our swings were terrible, we did not hyperfixate on how bad our form was or our aim was. We were there to make memories and embrace what we had. But I'm trying hard not to be selfish. I don't want to only be excited from knowing that hanging out with that part of the family will bring fun because of the events. I like being excited from the fact that I get to see them because they're family. This season, we've been given excess time to see those we love. Try not to make that time feel so excess. Hold on. Can I like flip it? Maybe you gotta cancel first. Did you turn on Bluetooth? Yeah. Hmm. What percent is your phone at? It's 32. Oh my gosh. Mine's at 50. It's not any better. Mine's at 58. Mine's at 59. Why y'all in the 50s? <laughs> <laughs> I was saying. Man, let me see yours. My, my mind in the 50. Hey, I'm below. Who are you at? I got like 10. <laughs> Here, I got a Bluetooth for free. Right, I'm here. getting kidnapped right now. Can I do my seat. phone? <laughs> 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 Hello. Hello. for that. 
I'm telling you, number one, I'm telling you, don't, bro, don't forget this right here. Number, number one. He's gonna get last place. Number one. You'll be all right. Hey, as you can see, I'm not related to Tiger Woods. Uh huh. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, hey, watch this one. Watch this one. Show me some. Show me some. Yes. Sir. <laughs> no, that's two. Wait, I got three. Oh my God. Oh uh, yeah, I got that. I got that. Oh my Second place. I'm in second place right now, bro. I'm trying to get number one. Second place, man. I said number one. I'm about to get number one. Stop playing with me. Second place. Number one. Let's do this. Ended up getting third place. I just asked Jenny to take my car. Letting the vlog know you're leaving? Yes. Okay, bye.